just going to get another cup of tea. Warmed up a little bit outside. A couple degrees. But it's, what is it? Just coming up to zero in here. That was a smooth ride again. It was really nice with that uh, extra um, snow we got there. Just a little bit, but it blew in our my trail and it made it even smoother. In between the tundra and some of those uh, low spots that covered up. And that was a good ride coming here. Big load. Big load of lumber for my new deck and my new uh, woodshed that's going to attach to here. So I don't know if I'm going to walk into the woodshed and then outside or just have it to the side here. I'm not, I'm not sure yet. I'm just enjoying the last half an hour of daylight. Just uh, keeping an eye out. I drilled my hole in here and now I got to take some more out here. So I can um, trace around the styrofoam in there and slide this against that the steel um, or the tin and epoxy it. I also need room so I can drill a small hole for my cover I'm going to be using. It's spring loaded. I put a spring on it and then I'll bend one of these tabs up and that should be good for opening and closing it. Um, to bring in some cool air and then I'm going to shove it along here. Should work. I don't think the epoxy is going to set tonight though. I'll let it sit overnight and we'll do it tomorrow. There you go. Then I have the um, opening there to drill a hole. And I'll push this down the end of the hallway. I'll epoxy it. And that's that. My epoxy took to the fridge. It's wobbly because the, the tin is so thin inside the fridge. Well, I was installing that, but the pipe broke off. I don't know why. I think my epoxy didn't stick to the tin because I didn't clean the tin good enough. We got one Wolverine that's hanging here. Hopefully, that'll be ready for tomorrow. And I'm going to get the trap off of it a bit and hang it by its foot and go a little bit higher with it. Well, I just finished leveling the cabin from about this point here to here is about three quarters of an inch high. That's why my door seems out and that window seemed like it was tilted. Well, I'm almost done. Then I gotta go inside and build my stairs. Well, that's it for my stairs. I'm just gonna put a bottom plate right here and I'll dig that into the ground if need be but I have a nice treated to go there nice piece of treated and I'll slap that on right there really
<laughs> Get off the new equipment. That grief. <laughs> oh, that's freaking hilarious. Just adding some hot water to my dishes. I was about to do the dishes and I got really sick of having the light here. I don't know why I had a center light here. It doesn't do anything. Oh. Freaking wind is picking up. Well, I hope that's just a uh, gust here and there. See how the trees are moving now. Ah. Hope that's not for tomorrow. I'm going to go check traps tomorrow. Yeah, I just got sick of no light in this area. This is where I do everything. Sitting at the table, working on things, eating, cooking. Everything's done in here. Over there is relaxing, and I have my skinny light if I want extra light over there anyway. Well, I got some bacon cooking here slowly, and it's just about time to put my uh, pancake mix together. Yep. Should do her. Got up around uh, 5.30 this morning roughly. And the fire kept going all night. Stayed perfect in here. Another great sleep. Well, half decent sleep. Tossed and turned at the beginning. And finally we can get the heck out of here and set some uh, traps and check some traps. Just resetting the trap and you now we're first Martin. Not a bad one at all. Suitcase catch I don't like, but must have dove right in there, man. Oh. But it's a half decent day. Oh, that's a nice dark one. This one doesn't have a quick release clip on it, so I will do that now. Oh, he had a hold of that before it. Oh no, his face is just stuck to it. Nice big chunk of fish. And now, every time I don't have a quick release clip on here, I switch it. Okay. Now with my new box here. How do you like that, guys? I'll figure out a better system here to opening the lid. I did with this one. This is my camera gear. A uh, little battery, uh, a 1000 joule jumper in case my machine needs it. So in here I got a uh, nails, hammer, quick release pins. So what I'll do is I will grab a hammer and nail. Ooh, that's my sore hand too. forever like you said so. I've actually never caught a Martin here it's the first time I ever caught a Martin in this one little area no I don't use safety clips I don't know too many trappers I do. Those should be used for beginners though, that's for sure. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Oh look at that. Can't have that on the machine. Well they finally got something in the 330s. Man, it looks like I can get them out easy. It's uh, it's been pretty bitter cold, so I haven't been catching much. Really poor check today, and I think I'll uh, get home now and do my Wolverine. So nothing's moving. So now that the wind, this uh, bitter cold warning is over, and uh, it will start to warm up a bit, and everything will start to move again. Should be able to get him out of there though. Woo, it's chilly. This now if I want. Look at that. I love this little thing where bro sent me. It's awesome. So like I thought it was a big male. Good size male. Okay, I am done. He would, did a quick measurement on him. He's 42 inches. So that's a nice one. Well, I have a steak. Like I always do, I barbecue the steak and potatoes. Finally got my barbecue going. I was low on propane last time and I wouldn't start. And I didn't want to goof around with it. It was so cold out. I was turning the knob. And I thought it was going to break, so I don't need to use it. But it's a little bit warmer tonight. I got it going, and baked potatoes, steak, beans. Oh, yeah. Can't beat it. Canada, Canada's playing tonight, uh, playing Russia. And my Jets are playing tonight. So. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to watch the jets. <laughs> now I'll go back and forth, probably. See how they, um, see how they're doing. Okay, uh, some people were interested in my wool pelt. And the reason I bought it out here is because I just wanted to hang it out here. I just don't, uh, you know, I don't need it hanging in my shed. I'd rather have it hanging out on the on the porch or, or uh, outside or something. But uh, as you can see, it's an older male. See, it's missing the hair on its nose. And its tail was in really poor condition. I had barely could get the bone out. And it's uh, just like barely hanging on in one spot. Like maybe uh, if you're lucky a quarter inch of the skin and it split a little bit I just had such a hard time with it I think he got bit on the tail before and uh, it didn't heal properly and it was like uh, it was just like rock hard so I had to soak it soak it soak it finally I managed to get it off half decent but uh, all the claws are on 
And if anything, it'd be a good wall ha hanger for lots of character on it. That's about it. Because I know I've sold a couple like that where people said I love the character on it. Like, you know, the beat up nose and things like that. And Anyway, there you go. I believe it's uh, 80 inches in length. I'm pretty sure it's 80. And I have a measuring tape right here. 80 in length and 64 to the base, I believe, of the tail. So I'll double check for you guys. Yeah, 60, 63, 64 to the base of the tail and overall length is 80. So, 350 bucks. Of course, if somebody offers me uh, the most, they get it. And if everyone just says, I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it, well, I'm just going to throw your name in a hat and pull it out. Keep it very, keep it simple. And of course, you pay for shipping and any export uh, permits and stuff like that. $350 plus uh, $500 for uh, handling. Just kidding. Okay, $350. Nice looking morning. There's a slight breeze. And Happy New Year to everybody. January 1st today. Time for me to head in and get to work. For a couple days and then head back out here. solid deck now. Not scared about going through this. And my stairs, oh yeah. Way better. I put them a little high. Uh, but uh, I think next year they'll drop probably about an inch and a half and it'll be, uh, should equal out to uh, one of the steps here. Close anyway. And I just threw this uh, grate down here by the steps so I can Bend my boots off before I go up. I was supposed to incorporate it into the deck here, but I just, you know what, I was running out of time. I have to check traps. I got to get back to work for a few days, so it is what it is, man. And you know what? I can always do it later, right? So I'm going to pack up, warm my sled up a little bit more, and uh, get back home for some work. So, Happy New Year to everyone, and I'll see you on the next video.